The coexistence view consists of a number of different elements. I'll briefly describe each element in an overview, and then go over each one in detail. The timeline shows all the packets. They're color-coded both by technology and by packet type. So we have 802.11, and Classic, and Low Energy. The y-axis shows the channels. So here we have 802.11, and Low Energy, and Classic. The x-axis is time. We can scroll it if we want. We can zoom in and out. The throughput graph, and let me swap that with the timeline to make it a little bigger. The throughput graph shows throughput for each technology. We can show packet throughput, or payload throughput, or both, in which case we get double the number of lines. There is a viewport, which is the time range used by the timeline. We can drag it around. We can resize it if we want. And the viewport is synchronized with the scroll bar of the timeline. So moving either one moves the other. There's also a zoom throughput graph that zooms into the time range covered by the viewport. The zoom throughput graph scroll bar is also synchronized. The zoom throughput graph is really useful for seeing exactly what's happening at any time range or at any specific data point in the regular throughput graph. So if we right click on this data point and zoom to it, we can see that most of its activity is happening right here. And we can see what's happening at each data point. We get the throughput and how it's computed and the range of packets involved. The viewport has two packet numbers indicating its packet range. Those packet numbers are replicated above the throughput graph and above the timeline. There are throughput indicators for average throughput and for one second throughput. There's also a legend which has several different functions. It shows the colors used for the packet type color coding in the timeline. If you select a packet by clicking on it, it lights up the corresponding entries in the legend. So we can see that that packet is ACL, and it's a master, and it's classic. If we click on a packet type in the legend, it activates these arrows here so that you can navigate to that packet type. 